on earth okay we uh, as as you see here in this uh, in this figure or in this pie chart that 97.5 percent of earth's water is saline water or salt water and 96.5 percent of this water found in the oceans one percent for in other places other saline water and only only 2.5 percent of, of all water on earth is fresh water okay so uh the, and we say that water that is saline or salt water it is it's called saline water or salt water because it has a large amount of dissolved salts while fresh water uh, has a little or no uh, dissolved salts uh, example of salt water or saline water the mediterranean sea okay right and also we we learned or uh, that the distribution of fresh water and on earth the distribution of all fresh water on earth like this as you see that the majority or 68.7 percent of earth's fresh water found in the glaciers and ice caps glaciers are huge sheets of ice of slowly moving body of ice the glacier is a slowly moving body of ice on land some some pieces of of, of glaciers can be uh, can as big as Irbit city for example they are very very huge uh, sheets of ice very huge body of ice and these sheets of ice or this body of ice are always moving but very very slowly so uh, the majority of the fresh water on earth uh, around 70 percent is a frozen water in the glaciers and ice caps and 30 percent 0.1 30.1 percent of this fresh water found under the ground as a ground water okay in the aquifers as i told you aquifers the aquifer is a tank of water you can you can uh, we can define a, an aquifer as a tank of water but it is under the ground uh, water ground water collects between the rocks under the ground this is called aquifer and people obtain this water by machines okay by the way groundwater is uh, a healthy water and it is safe for use it's not contaminated it is less contaminated or it is cleaner than the surface water uh, and 1.2 percent of air's fresh water uh, found in the surface okay and other fresh water okay and uh, in this graph this graph shows the distribution of fresh water that is on the surface okay surface and other fresh water the majority of this of fresh water on the on the surface found uh, uh, as ground ice and permafrost permafrost is the a frozen uh, the frozen uh, some parts of the world all the year or almost all the year the the ground is frozen this is called permafrost the majority of fresh water uh, on the surface found in the permafrost and uh, as you see that in 20.9 percent of fresh water on the surface found in the lakes 3.8 as a bit in the soil as soil moisture water inside the soil is called soil moisture and it comprises or makes up 3.8 percent uh, and three percent in the atmosphere as clouds okay uh, and water vapor clouds and water vapor at uh, 2.6 percent in the swamps and marshes and only 0.5 percent in the rivers also there is uh, uh, 0.2 percent uh, inside the bodies of living things animals humans and plants also 
uh, yesterday we were talking about the problem, the challenges that we face. The most uh, challenge that people face on Earth is the shortages of water, of fresh water. Fresh water shortages. Yes, there are. There is a problem. There is a big problem in the availability of fresh water. Not all countries have the same amount of fresh water, and that means that fresh water is or Earth's fresh water is unevenly, not evenly distributed, not equally distributed or spread out. For example, some areas, such as Brazil's rainforests, some areas, okay, uh, like, uh, wait a minute, please, okay. Some areas, such as Brazil's rainforest, for example, uh, this area uh, get rain almost daily. So these areas or this area are rich in fresh water. Other areas such as Chile's Atacama Desert, of course, the deserts in general and this desert are dry all the time. It is seldom to receive rain. Tide. This is another example, uh, Nebraska, I think it's in the United States. In places like Nebraska, people rely on water pumped from aquifers. Type and yesterday we were talking about the aquifer. It is underground water supplies. It is underground water supplies. Uh, look at how the water shortages. This statement tell us about the water, fresh water shortages on Earth. About one billion people, 1 billion people is not a small number as you as you know. 1 billion people do not have access to clean water, okay? Uh, so they, uh, they suffer from the water pollution. And also 2.7 billion people do not have fresh water for at least one month a year, okay? Type. To help solve the problem, people build reservoirs. These reservoirs are built to uh, uh, to collect water. The purpose of these reservoirs is to store water or collect water. Uh, example of these reservoirs, dams. Dams, people build dams everywhere, like here in Jordan. There are, I think, more than 10 dams, all uh, in different cities or in different regions in Jordan. Uh, also, scientists predict that about 75%, which is a very huge number, 70% of Earth's people, Earth's people will have water shortages by 2000, uh, uh, 2000 25 or after five years at uh, 75 percent of earth's people is a huge number i think more than six billion people more than or maybe seven billion people uh, of course we must change our uh, the amount of water we use we must minimize our use of water Okay, we, we should not use water uh, a lot. We must use water wisely. Right. Scenes such as the, the one in the photo will become more common. The, look at this graph here. Okay, as you see here, the, the ground is dry. This is called do you know what is it called in science? Do you know what we call this condition? I will give you the chance to talk. What we call this condition where is, there is little or no water for a long period of time. It is called D-R-O-U-G. 
جي اتش تي دراوت بالعربي اسمها ايش جفاف اوكي سو دراوت ذس از ان اكزامبل كان يو هير مي يس يس سو اوكي اتس كولد دراوت يس اوكي Drought means the when there is little or no water, no precipitation for long period of time, and of course, drought is one of the uh, biggest problems. It is a disaster, by the way. It is considered a disaster, drought, because plants will die, animals will die, and it it will destroy ecosystems. Okay, right. Another important problem in fresh water, not only that fresh water is not available, another important problem to the world is the water pollution. It is also a very, very important problem. It's because when water is polluted or it is contaminated, no longer we can drink it or we use it. So. Uh, in addition to loss of water or little amount of water or shortages of water, there is also another problem that is water pollution and habitat destruction. These two problems are very important, right? More than half of the world's wetlands have disappeared, okay? This is an example of a habitat destruction. What is a habitat? Do you know what is a habitat? Fine. I will give you an example of a habitat. Place where an animal lives or all living things live. Look, a habitat is simply who's talking? Me. Me. Again. Again. A place where Sorry. are living things. Is a what? place where living things. Exactly. Thank you. Is the place where that all living things, uh, yes, where in. an organism survives. Okay, the place where an organism lives is its habitat. For example, yani you can say that a habitat is the house or the home. It is yani exactly it is the home of an organism. Uh, example for a habitat like uh, the bird, for example. The forest is its habitat. The forest is a habitat for not only bears, many, many living things. Uh, so when the habitat is destroyed, these organisms when, will escape example if there is a fire if there is a huge fire in if there is a fire in the forest what will happen to the to the living things or or animals that live in this desert in this forest they will lose their habitat so they will uh, go to a new place to find another habitat but if they don't find another habitat so they will die right uh, so the habitat is the place where an organism lives it is the home of an organism the organism organisms find what everything find food and shelter in their habitat so the uh, uh, the habitat of an organism provides it with everything with it with its needs food and shelter okay uh, so the habitat is very important in addition organism signed water uh, also wa food water uh, and shelter in their habitat type so uh, habitat destruction 
is a very important problem in addition to water shortages and water solution. Look at this example. More than uh, wetlands uh, are important ecosystems that can remove pollutants from the water. Did you know that trees and plants in general can remove pollutants from the water, from the soil type? This is an example of a wetland that is destroyed. The Florida Everglades at one time covered three million acres. Acres, yani, this is a, 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 an area. Acres like عمركم سمعتوا بال بالدنم عندنا بالاردن مثلا هاي الارض مساحتها مثلا خلينا نحكي اثنين دنم او ثلاث دنم الايكرز 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 هو مش دنم اسمه فدان اوكي ات از يعني تو ديسكرايب ذا اريا تو ديسكرايب ذا اريا وي كان ديسكرايب اريا فور اكزامبل ان ساينس ان meter square square meters or uh, square kilometers okay okay there are also uh, another units such as acres okay uh, acres are not used in jordan يعني, it's not common in jordan okay so this uh, a huge area the florida everglades it's a wetland and covered 3 million acres, which is a very, very huge area or very large area. But the last, at, in the last 100 years, what happened to this uh, habitat? People have dug canals and built dams there. Building uh, dams, by the way, building dams and canals also have environmental impacts. Okay, they took water, built homes, expanded agriculture, all of these activities, taking water from the, uh, from the area and building homes and expanding agriculture. This, all of these practices or activities destroyed this habitat. Today, the Everglade is less than half of its former size. So it is decreased. Its size decreased. Type. Uh, this is, I think, everything in this lesson. Uh, wait a minute, please. Okay. Type. Okay, let's see this exercise or this question. Uh, Sadeen, read the question, please. Why is it important to find ways to make dirty or polluted water or salt water drinkable in the future? Time. Look at the question again. Why is it, thank you, Sadeen, very much. Why is it important to find ways to make dirty or polluted water or salt water drinkable in the future? Why do you think, who can answer the question? Uh, do you, do you like I? to give you a hint? No, no, we know. Tayyip, uh, who can answer, answer Tayyip? Uh, Sadeen, okay, Sadeen. Um, the drought or draw why the question again why is it important to find ways to make dirty or polluted water or salt water drinkable in the future to prevent water type to prevent uh, type. thank you Sadi. Muhammad Haik in Tibish Kuntraf Eidak I'm sorry yeah. as we did because we don't have fresh water enough. Excellent, good, Tala. Thank you very much. A very, very good answer, Muhammad. Tala. Because maybe fresh water will, if we keep using it in this way, it will. It will run out. It will disappear. Yes. So 
we should find ways to let salty water and polluted water drinkable. Excellent. Yani both of your answers, Tala and Muhammad, good answers. Okay. As we know that uh, we should, it's very, very important to find ways to make dirty or polluted water and also salt water drinkable in the future because, as you know, we have only limited amounts of fresh water on Earth. 2.5% of all water on Earth is fresh water. And as you know, that not all, not all of this percent is available. E also, even the fresh water is very, very small. The amount of fresh water on Earth is very little. 2.5%, and also the majority of this water is frozen in the glaciers. So we have a limited, very limited amount of fresh water. So we should, we should seek or look for ways uh, to provide us with the fresh water. One of these ways to clean our uh, dirty or polluted water also to uh, to make salt water drinkable. Uh, do you think that we can, do you think that we can make salt water fresh? Can you, can you tell me a way to make salt water fresh? Filtration. Not filtration. Thank you, Sadin, for, uh, yani, for trying. But as you know that salt water is a mixture, OK? Salt water is a mixture, by the way, and we can, uh, we can, I, we can, can okay, can okay, come. Uh, heat the water, so yes. it will evaporate. Then. Yes, there are uh, the most, uh, the one of the most important tools to uh, make fresh water, uh, make salt water fresh by uh, ev evaporation. We heat boil or heat it, heating the salt water, heating salt water until it evaporates, heating salt, uh, heating salt water. So in this case, this is a mixture. The salt will uh, lift behind and water evaporates. And when water evaporates, we can condense it. We can condense it, change it to what? So when water condenses, it changes from like the water vapor to liquid water. So uh, there are yani, uh, tools or factories or machines that can uh, make salt water fresh. So it's not difficult. It's not difficult to remove salt from water. So in the future, I think that this process will take more attention because as you see that fresh water is limited, fresh water is limited in earth and the um, uh, this Teacher, okay. I have another answer. Okay, Hassan, yalla. Uh, population increase and the demand on water becomes too high. Yes, yes, good, Hassan. That's that's right. Excellent. So, people, as you know, that the population of people are increasing or decreasing by time. Increase. Increase in general, people, not only people. This is a general rule. People are always increasing. For example, 30 years ago, did you know that the population of Jordan, 30 years ago, just 3 million. Now, the population of Jordan is 10 million. And so on for other countries. The population of uh, the world, or people on Earth are increasing. And so the demand, as Hassan said, thank you, Hassan, that we need more and more water. If the water is contaminated, if we continue to use water a lot, this will make water not available for us in the future. Bye. Uh, Look at this. This is just uh, to know. Yani we want to solve this exercise. Just. Uh, uh, 
ماشي بس لكن بدنا نشوف يو كان يوز ماث تو كومبير ذا فوليوم اوف ا ليك تو ذا فوليوم اوف ذا جليشير طيب ذس اكسرسايز كومبيرز بتوين ذا ذا اريا اوف ذا ليك از يو سي اند ذا اريا اوف ذا جليشير طيب فايند ذا سيرفيس اريا فيرست كالكوليت Find the surface area of the lake. Okay. Uh, find the surface area of the lake and the glacier using uh, the formula. This formula, as you know, we can calculate the surface area of anything by multiplying the length times width. Muhammad, Haik, can you tell me how can we find the surface area? Wait, Ahmed, so much. The surface area of the lake. The surface area of the lake. How much? How much? Ah, what should you do? We will divide the. Not divide, multiply. Multiply. Okay. What is the length of the lake, or what the the length? It is. Six. Six. And multiply by the width, which is three. Three, three kilometers. So it equal how much? 18. Excellent. 18 square kilometers. This is the unit. You should write it like this. Thank you, Muhammad. Okay. Thank you very much, Muhammad. Get it, Shabab? Oh, sorry. You said, do we have to write it? Ah, oh, write it. Write it, please. Okay. Sorry, wait a minute. I will repeat it. So, uh, length times width, 6 multiply by 3, which is equal to 18 uh, square kilometer. What about the surface area of the glacier? Can anyone tell me how can we find it? This is the surface area of the lake. Uh, who can answer? Me, Hassan. Hassan, yeah, let's hold on. 11 times 8 equals 88. Yes, for the glacier, it is eight, 11 times 8, which is equal 88 square. معلش أنا بعرف بعرفش أكتب كثير بالهاي الماوس هاي. طيب, okay. It is a 88. Square kilometers. So, which is which has more surface area? Of course, the glacier. Bye. Uh, the second because uh, the second section of this question is uh, to find the volume. So, when we find the volume, we can know how much water is found in this uh, body of water. The depth of a lake is. 0.1 kilometer. This is the depth of the lake. And the depth of the glacier is 0.2 kilometers. So uh, it is deeper. The glacier is deeper. Calculate the volume of each freshwater source using the, We want to calculate the amount or the volume of a freshwater in each body of water. Type, uh, to find the volume, you should multiply length times width times height. Can anyone? Tell me, how can we find the volume of the lake? Can you? Can anyone tell me how can we find the Muhammad Haik? Yalla. We, we multiply six, divide, multiply by three. This is for Equal. the lake. Six times. Yeah. Three times and, what? And zero. Yes, and by this. And zero point one. 0.1, that's right. 
اوكي 1.2 ليش تطلع فكرة أنا ما عنديش كالكوليتر هون 1.2 It is 1 سنة 1.8 1.8 Yes Ah, uh, but this this time it's not square kilometers. It is cubic kilometer. Okay. Mister, one point uh, one point eighty two. Like this. No. 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 Eighteen. Darb واحد على عشرة. It is equal one point eight. One point eight. Yes. When صرنا إحنا هون. طيب. So here the. Volume of fresh water in the lake is 1.8 cubic kilometers. For one minute, still one minute, Mana, stand a shway. Okay, 1.8 for the lake, and for the glacier, it is you multiply as we done. What is the okay? Eleven times uh, eight times zero point two. It is equal seventeen point six. How much? Seventeen point six. Seventeen point six. Are you sure? Yeah. Five. Seventeen, not seventy. Seventeen. Yes, seventeen point six. Okay. So as you see that. The amount or the volume of fresh water in the glacier is much larger than that of the lake. Uh, in the third section round, the volume of each up to the nearest round number. Yani we can uh, round this to 17 and uh, the previous to 2. We can round it to 2 for the lake. Uh, estimate how many times more volume of a glacier has compared. Of course, the amount or the volume of fresh water in the glacier is much larger than that larger than that of the lake type uh, this is just for uh, to compare between the volume of fresh water and the volume of uh, fresh water in the glacier and the lake please solve this is a homework the listen check okay the listen check solve it and send me the answers uh, privately question one and two listen check okay